There we go. Uh, yeah. When this one wants to capture, we got we got audio. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if you're still watching, John, but uh, we finally got this game running for you. This is uh, Pink Panther Passport to Peril. And oh yeah, MGM. Yeah, that's right, because they had the rights to Pink Panther, don't they? There's a boy. We're not going to talk about the um, the terrible reboot with uh, Steve Martin as Inspector Clouseau. It was, it was pretty terrible. But yeah, I was intrigued by this one. I think this is meant to be like a little bit like Carmen San Diego, but don't don't quote me. I don't really know what it entails. Gently stroke his ear. That's a cool little intro, though. And not quite the original Pink Panther theme. They gotta update it for the 90s. Oh, a little retinal scan on the teeth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right, eh? Any goes. Yeah, it's weird. He, like, the actual Pink Panther character got popular just because of those little animated things they had at the start of the Peter Sellers movies in the 60s. I think they actually tried making a full-blown um, Yeah, I think at, around this time there was an actual cartoon series. Thank you for coming. It's a very important assignment. I called my most important And that is definitely hunter. not Peter Sellers because he would, would have like passed on beverage? at this stage. Ooh. Ooh, that looks fancy. Hmm. I won't lie to you, Panzer. This mission could involve danger. Dangerous danger? Quite possibly. That There's voice, no I... glory in this mission, Panzer. The work will require work. The hours will each be at least an hour long. The nights will be dark. I'm not afraid of the dark, Inspector. I thought you knew that. You'll be dealing with some of the most influential individuals in politics and world affairs. None oh, of no. them over. <laughs> I was hoping we were going to be able to keep politics out of this. What was that last part? They are young. They are young. Oh, no. We... <laughs> oh. <laughs> they are children, but not just any children. Some are the sons and daughters of diplomats and prime ministers. Others are political activists, environmentalists, humanitarians. Some were uh, very, trafficked very on cute. Jeffrey Epstein's but plane. But they all share one thing in common. <laughs> yeah? What's that? They are smart. Very, what is this very dopey smart. looking boy over here? You don't like? say. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. What a unique perspective. These children are at high risk for acts of terrorism. <laughs> What's up with this place? Your mission is to tweaky. watch over them, protect maybe, them, maybe switch see the them home fine. safely. Babysit. Baby nothing. This is as much about foreign relations as it is about summer camp. Summer camp? You're sending me to a summer camp? Not just any summer camp, you oblivious gal girl. Camp Chilliwawa. What? Chili Hua? Wawa! Wawa! Don't get so upset, Inspector. If anything goes wrong, if the children are the least bit unhappy, their influential parents will go nutso. Their countries will be outraged. World peace down the drain. Oh, it could fuel the next world war, for crying out loud. Oh, what? There's not a moment to waste. The children oh, arrive in Chilliwawa one, yes. today. They have each been given a private jet for transport. Well, point me to my jet and I'm out oh, of here. Oh, no. Small problem. We are trafficking we are them by jet. Out of jets. Uh -oh. No biggie. I'm a pretty resourceful cat. Just tell me where the place is. I'll find my own way there. I'm afraid the location is top secret. No one is to know where Chilliwawa lies. Not even you. I see. So how would you propose I get there? I'll have to magically zap you. Magically zap me? What? Oh, no way. I hate that. Look, last time it took me like three days to recuperate. My fur was all dried out. I had cotton mouth. I can't stand being magically zapped. 
I won't do it. I can't. I just need to make sure there's enough distance between us. You owe me for this. You owe me big time. We, we, we. He's got an actual gun to do it with. Le ah! Oh, we did get. Oh, that's. That's gonna have some consequences if the pigeon was on it. Mm -hmm. The most spectacular summer camp ever! I think I'm gonna throw up. Hey! I get motion sickness. I like my feet planted firmly on the ground, thank you very much. If God intended for me to fly, he would have given me wings. But... I mean big metal wings, like an airplane. What? Okay. Oh, we, <laughs> we can immediately pick this guy's nose. Let's do so, I guess. Hey, Panther, welcome to Camp Chiliwawa, home to the first annual kids' conference. Children from all over the world will meet here to discuss how to promote world peace. Yes, I heard. It's a wonderful program. Have you met any of our multicultural, ethnically diverse, but all equally gifted campers? Not yet. Well, please do. Feel free to look around. We're glad to have you aboard. Huh, okay. Um, oh, we have a hoverboard. That <laughs> scares the pants. Okay. <laughs> Pink pants, duh. Um, oh, we have a switch that for the like temperature. That looks like a schmarty contraption to me. Maybe I'll get him to show me how it works. Uh, it seems pretty straightforward, bud. Um, so do we have a... We picked stuff up. Oh, we have a PDA. Navigator. Oh, there's stuff about Australia, Bhutan, China, England, Egypt, and India. Okay. Um, sound preferences we don't need. Online. Ha! Huh, I just won. I guess you can print out like a uh, thing or something. On the last diagnostics. Um, oh, here's our inventory. Okay. Now, what was? So we don't we don't even get a description on the uh, items. Yeah, like what is that? I've got no idea what these are. Anyway, all right. Let's let's go talk to people. I suppose. And very slowly walk around. Oh crap! <laughs> oh. Hang on, what, what are we vacuuming? Are we vacuuming you children? Is that what's happening? Come on, Smarty. Um, okay. Pink? It's your old friend Von Smarty stuck in here. Sorry, Smarty. Let me try to get you out. You're stuck. Don't panic. I'll figure something out. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Grano. So they're at least highlighting hot spots. That's always a good thing. I guess this is meant I'm to be like not a in the mood for a there. swim. Yeah, all right. That may be Von Schmarty's cabin, but he's still stuck in the big sucky machine. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm not in the mood for a swim. Yeah, yeah. Please, Pink, find something to help me get out of here! Yeah, okay, I guess. Can we, like, go to other areas, though? It doesn't seem like we can. Hmm. Oh. Look around, Pink Panther. Explore! Okay. Um. Uh, uh, it's locked. I need the code. Yeah, okay. Look around, Pink Panther. No, we just Explore. had you. Explore! Are we getting... No, okay, so no hotspots there. Nothing there. Um, yeah, really, where can we go from here? Oh, uh, no, hang on. I thought I saw... Something come up. Yeah, there's a big arrow that points to this hangar. Okay. That may be Von Schmarty's cabin, but he's still stuck yeah, in the right. big sucky machine. Yeah, okay. So we're getting across to the... Oh, we just walk around. Okay. Ah, okay. And here's all the planes. Got some... Uh... Oh yeah, wrench in the Saucy toolbox. Saucy wrench. Why is it saucy though? 
We have we can't have this hammer. Um, all right, we got a wrench. Sorry, this plane hasn't been restocked with bark bags. We can't fly yet. Oh, so these, so we're going to other places, I guess. Okay, okay. Um, can we go anywhere else? Sorry, though? this plane has been rented out for the Wexler Boys Flying Bar Mitzvah. Huh, okay. Um, nothing in the baggage handling? Yeah, not really much in the way of hot spots, is there? Okay, we have a wrench. I don't know what the wrench is going. Oh, maybe we can, like, disassemble the vacuum cleaner now. Let's try that. Uh, wrench. Yeah, alright, that works. I told you I'd get you out. Thank goodness! It's been too long, my friend! Too, too long! I had no idea you would be here. Of course! I had to turn this place into a little person's wonderland. Wait till you see my outrageous inventions. The super suck is just one. Would you mind depositing these items back where they belong? Oh, uh, like I've got any idea where these go. Oh, we just, just click on them. Okay. And that's what we were sucking up for, well, not the actual children, thankfully. Um, okay. Well, good to know where, where they belonged, I suppose. Okay, um, that's it. Well done, Pink! I'm so glad to have you around. Did you see the airboards? I made those too! Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Did you see my dial a day? No. What is it? One of my best inventions yet. Huh. You select a yeah. season, a time of day, and presto. Crisp winter morning. It's not even cold. You <laughs> naked kid just it's spinning it's around on the ice. Let side. me try. Yeah, let's, um... It's sensational. Terrific. Oh, by the way, this is the code that will help you get into the supply shed. Oh, get some codes. Okay. What was that you just whispered? I said Chili Baba success has gone to my head. It's a great success indeed. <laughs> Who the hell are these guys? Don't open a champagne just yet. I'm from the Better Camping Bureau. The BCB run! <laughs> What's the go with these guys, though? Why are you just coming straight back, My staff and I are here to evaluate your program. Make sure the children are well supervised and happy. See that all your equipment meets all rigid safety standards. Yeah, okay. We said we want to inspect some of your high-tech gadgetry. Now, where is this stuff? Oh, okay. Um, I guess we can just... Oh, that's the coat. Oh, oh. I'm I'm seeing uh, a lot of a lot of things here. Let me try. Let me try. Yeah. Oh. Have you seen the airboards? What's an airboard? Like a skateboard that flies. Maximum weight capacity. <laughs> oh, doesn't work for him. On oh, the game's actually running a little too fast. <laughs> Can we turn down cycles? Yeah, that turn down thing seems a to bit. work nicely. Yeah, okay. Uh, how about the, whatever the other things were? Here are some pogo shoes. Pogo shoes? Pogo shoes, yeah. I see. Pogo shoes. How nice. Mind if my men take a look at those? Make sure you set the dial to a beginner. Beginner? Forget it, man. Crank them up. Show me what you got. <laughs> if you this say guy's so. starting to sound like a game journalist. <laughs> okay. Those look fine, but I'm warning you, one slip up and I'll shut this place down before you can say... Where's Louie? 
Where's Louie? Well, we'll consider ourselves warned. Don't get smart, Panther. I can't stand a smart Panther. You, you prefer a dumb Panther, boss? Shut it. Please, boss. I, I didn't do nothing. Huh. Say, what's in that shed? Oh, supplies, but it's locked right now, and I haven't found the code to open it. No code to open it. Well, you're off to a crummy start. <laughs> I guess we better go find Louie. But we'll be back. Oh. Oh, they are gonna leave. Okay. Yeah, this one seems a little bit, um... That guy is gonna so be far. in trouble. Hmm. That was smart thinking, Pink. I'm going in my cabin to read up on the Better Camping Bureau policies. If you need me, just knock. Good thinking. I myself will take this time to do a deep cleansing kiwi citrus mask. My skin is horrific. Oh. I'll be in my okay. cabin too if you need me, Pink. Okay, fellas. But don't worry. I'll be fine. Yeah, really all we gotta do is just get the thing, though. Is... Okay. Oh, we got the, the kids have come out to play. You're right. <laughs> this is a very pale boy. Yeah, okay. Um, well, we'll get in the, um, the supply closet. Uh, uh, it's oh, locked. we have to use I it from our inventory. Okay. You have the code. Here it is. There you go. <laughs> okay, random. What's down in here? Oh, we got a fishing rod. We got an extension cable. These are all useful things. Oh, ex why why highlight that when I can't click on it though? Oh, well. got this fishing rod. Yep. I can always make time for some fishing. Mm -hmm. That rusty old thing won't work. Trust me. Oh, you never know. White jackets. Yep. Um. There. Well, if all else fails, at least there's creamed corn. Hmm. Okay. And nothing else to highlight. Can't take the light bulb. Yeah, it's weird we can't select that at all. Oh. Head back upstairs. Go, go. F <laughs> Can we go fishing for children? Oh dear. What do we, yeah, all right, we'll chat to the kids, I suppose. Ooh, let me guess. Chili Wawa, what's your name? That's Young Lee, a very gifted student from Beijing. Of course, no more or less gifted than any other gifted students. You understand. Excuse me. I thought China number one. That's what the propaganda's been Hi, telling me. My name is Chioni. And I'm from Egypt. My name means Daughter of the Nile. I like anything fast. My father is an ambassador. His name is Adolfo. I can write in hieroglyphics. Really? Bloody My name's da. Pink. What does your name mean? It means light red. <laughs> okay. Let's just My keep name is Kamokin. I am a native Australian. Though I oh, am only ten, in my village, no. I am considered a doctor of herbal medicine. I know all about nature. My this kid seriously is a meant to be Aboriginal, though. Like, no, no, not with that hair. No way. <clears throat> Do you know where Bhutan is? That's where I am from. I'm a Buddhist, and I spent time as a monk in a monastery. I have pen pals from all over the world, and now I will have some more. <coughs> <laughs> well, it's a hell of an exit, that's for sure. My name is Indrani, and I'm an independent Indian woman, okay? I believe women should be treated as equals, and I will fight so that my daughters can live with respect. I am a Hindu, and I love Hindu mythology. Mm. My name is Indrani. Yeah. <laughs> From what I've been reading in the, the news, that's only just happening now, you know, nearly 30 years after this game came out. So, okay. Did you meet all the children, Pink? Even little Nigel? He's a bit shy. You'll have to find some way to get him to warm up to you. Oh, um... You wanna, you wanna go fishing, young, young Simon? 
I guess that's oh, how we're doing it. Okay. What's your name? My name is Nigel. I'm from England. I'm a pacifist. P A C I S T. Why is the English kid as pale as the Chinese kid, though? I D Y. The most everything with love and R E S P E C T. This is my first time at camp. No roughhousing, please. You like fishing? Does it kill the fish? We won't kill them. We'll throw them back. But it must hurt a little when you snag them on the hook. I suppose it hurts a little, but just a drop. Like a teeny tiny, eeny weeny little pinch. Ow, ow, ow! That hurts! What did I ever do to you? Eeny weeny, eh? I'm sorry. How would you like it if I hooked one of them things around the roof of your mouth, buddy? I'll never fish again. Then mend your ways, warmonger. <laughs> Deliver your stick of doom <laughs> into my guy? hands, and I will see that no one is ever hurt by its E-B-I-L again. Stick of doom? The fishing rod. Oh, of course. That's... That was his doom stick, I guess. Um, what are the other kids still? Interesting. Though that's not how we do it in my country. Yeah, I'd like to visit your country someday. I insist you stay with my family when you do. I'm kind of intrigued by that too, because like, I guess they didn't go with natural accents for the kids, A, because like the voice actors weren't talented enough to do them, or B, they didn't want to come across as racist caricatures, but it just doesn't, yeah, if, if you just have them with American accents, it just doesn't work, does it? Didn't the day go quickly? Bedtime, unique and lovable campers. Yeah, I don't know what Bedtime. would be don't forget more racist our introduction of the to foreign culture seminar first thing in the morning. Good night, come on, Ken. See you in the morning, Did Nigel. Did we even Please get like a better thing? Sleep tight, Chione. <laughs> but let me guess, all the children are going to be stolen by the um, by morning. Don't let the bed box bite, mine, Jinda. Good night, John boy. <laughs> I don't even know what that reference is, but I do hear it and stuff occasionally. You just gotta sit there sleeping, standing up. What is this game mode? Oh, I'm just gonna park up on the thing. Okay. Well, if the lake was chilly, hmm. wouldn't it have, wouldn't it have been cold at night? Okay. Um, yeah, alright, back to it, I suppose. Uh, we'll see what was stolen from the supply thing. Just, uh... Oh, a robot arm of some sort? Okay. This wasn't here yesterday. Who the hell had a robot arm, though? Can't even take it with us? Okay. Can't take that extension cord still. Uh, smells exciting in here. Okay. Back to it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, not really sure where the story's going on this, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, the, uh... Dear Pink, oh. come quick! Nigel is in a terrible state! Oh, okay. Um... This... Where are we meant to be going? He said, go to the cabin. There's no hotspot for the... Oh, maybe over the thing. I don't know. Dear Pink, come quick. Nigel is in a terrible state. Yeah, so where are you calling from? I... Uh, um... Is this just... Are we just going back down the thing, though? Yeah, we're just going back down into the basement. Okay. Oh, still got the hands come back. Okay. But where were we meant to go from the from here? Dear Pink. Oh, come he's quick. calling Nigel from is over in a there. Okay. State. Okay, I guess we're going over here. How the hell are we getting up there though? This game made almost no sense. <laughs> What's up, Nigel? Let me, let me... Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, let's find out what's going on, I guess. You can see he's very agitated. Fuck an oath. A-G-I-tated. Agitated. 
Uh, something's happened to him. I wonder what the story is behind this thing. Hmm. Okay. I sure wish I had some way of finding out more about this. Uh, I, th I think we do. So what's up with, with young Nigel Nigel? What's got you so upset? Be quiet! I hate you! I hate this place! It's a rotten dump! Oh, you couldn't possibly be! Be quiet! I want <laughs> to go home! fighting back to England, against multiculturalism? I can't it? stand it here! It's a rotten dump! A dump! You hear me? R-O-D-D! -D. What? Close enough. Your next word is hyperbole. Hyperbole. A H Y P E uh Bowley. Hyperbole. Now leave me alone. I hate you. Huh. Okay, so what, what are we meant to be doing to solve the problem? Do you, you want to give us an insight? What do you think is wrong with him? Well, his spelling seems a little skittish for one. But pink. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. That's right. So, what are we meant to be doing now? We must now? do something! The Better Camping Bureau will shut us down! He wants to go home! If you can't bring Mohammed to the mountain... Can't we worry about Mohammed after we've taken care of Nigel? I'll hot-foot it over to England and snatch up a few of his favorite things from home. Nigel will be happy as a clam. I hate it here. I want to go home. Yeah, well, we're not, like we're not doing two trips, so... Leave. I want to give you a little something for your trip. Oh, what? Ah, okay. So we're just gonna jet off to England because this guy's having a fucking tanty. Like, it, that just seems unnecessary. Pink Panzer, I've made you a special travel device. Travel Whoa. device? Mark Tubbs, how you doing? Device, yes, he does not like that pillow. PDA. Your PDA He's very is angry small. at the pillow. Your PDA is pink. It's your pink digital assistant. Come again. Well, yes, it allows it's, us to communicate that's and kind of the case with all nerds. Like, if you start forgetting your knowledge, you get a little frustrated. And he apparently land. can't spell How anymore. How much would you pay for a digital assistant like this? I've never had a digital assistant. $200? $300? Today it's yours what? free! Free! Hmm? With your PDA, you will know things you didn't even know you knew. Your PDA can tell you about any country you visit. You can manipulate the PDA with a control panel along the bottom and the arrows around the wheel. Oh. It's easy to navigate through the PDA. Click on the arrows to select the country well, you, you want information about. Well, you can make it hard for us when you're doing the flags like Click that. Click on the arrows to select the topic you want information about. Click on the go arrow and faster than you can say, I'll have that fat-free vinaigrette. You'll arrive at the domain page. If it was free, why would we ask how much we would pay for it? I was making fun of the, um, like the infomercials they used to do the back in the day. It's the kind of stuff most folks just won't know. Now, any time you right-click an object, you hear a little tidbit of information about it. But when you see a PDA icon flash at the bottom left-hand <laughs> corner so of the good. page, you can click on it to this, go uh, This game is almost 30 years so old, like, you know, the kids is. don't... I hope you have yeah. in your head. Kids have probably... You, even I have probably remembered what happened 30 years ago. Ink, no lie. Okay, um, so how do we use our PDA? PDA, I should say. Keep saying, oh, it's up in here. Um, so navigator. Yeah, right. -o. What what is up with his thumb though? It's going off my mouse cursor. That's a little weird. Um, okay, so I guess yeah, select something about uh England. We get is any of this Um yeah, can I get some Oh, this is the actual help. PDA help. Oh, it's kind of like a little browser in the game. Okay. Pink's associates have set up shop to tell you about their favorite subjects of the countries visited. These domains are Boss Man's Java Cafe, Voodoo Man's Fashion Boutique, Artvark's Greasy Spoon Diner, The Inspector's Excavations, Pug Louie and Dog Father's Tub, The Ant Space Discotheque, The Little Old Lady Zeppelin, Dr. Von Schmarty's Introspective Mountain for religion. Oh, we're going to learn some religion at some point. And that's... So, okay, we got these icons. We can... Oh, we got to pick click the big arrow in the middle, I guess. Um, alright. Um, yeah. 
Oh, oh, and it's not even, there's no voice or anything. You're just going through like an actual, like a little thing. Yeah, I'm a little lost myself. Um, yep, Yeoman Waters. London, due to period meat. What? Why are we asking about meat? Um, oh, this gets you back here. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, so this is a, this is apparently a mix of like a adventure game and uh like a Carmen San Diego educational thing. Um I I had another streamer friend who mentioned he played it when I was young and I could never get it running. And now that we finally got it running, I'm I'm definitely getting a little confused. So we meant to be <laughs> the... Okay, Henry the 8th. Whatever that's meant to be church. Religious symbols, there's what Om is like the Star of David, yeah. Um Druids, Celts and Pagans, yeah, okay. So why are we why are we looking at any of this though? Can't even talk to like the doctor. Alright, no, I've had enough of the PDA. Just tell We're me what I'm meant to be doing. Walking to England, are you? Oh, um So we just what fly to England on the uh, yeah, we probably could go a walkthrough. I don't know, like, how much time I want to spend on it. Because it might be worth doing. I guess we, we go to England on the plane, then. But, yeah, I'm not sure what we're meant to... Because, yeah, like, for the most part, I, I don't know if we'll need the PDA or whether we're supposed to use it. Okay, no, we're off to England then, I guess. Oh, Please God. take your seat and fasten your seatbelt. The aircraft will be moving shortly. You're the... Uh, okay. Um, okay. I'll go take a seat then. We're next on the runway to take off. If you'll make sure your seatbelts are fastened, we'll be on our way promptly. Oh, great. Okay. Seatbelt on. Sure. Yeah, because it's like most point and click adventure games aren't this linear as well. But sort of Hello, just Pink going Panther, with the flow at this thank stage. Thank you for flying Air We'll be cruising at an altitude of 42,000 feet today. Once we finish our climb, you can remove your seatbelt and move freely about the cabin. Okay. And I've actually flown on British Airways before. This, this doesn't seem like, um... It's usually one of the nicer rides. I don't remember it in this. Thing. Boring. Oh, we, we've ordered lunch Feeling apparently. Feeling beverage today? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, what's, what's for lunch? Oh, we don't even know. We're just going to deep throat it. Okay. And just... Just water? Really? We're going from Britain to America, so I think we've got... <laughs> this is going to take a good six hours. I wouldn't mind some booze. We'll be arriving in London. The current weather conditions are grey and foggy. Thank you for flying air, Schmarty. Oh, we, we just finished. Okay. I'm glad we didn't have to use the parachute, though. So we're just in England. Okay. Um, so what can we click on? So Boldly is Parliament's oldest member. Today he's retiring. I'm afraid he's in the midst of delivering a rather long-winded farewell speech. I do wish he'd cut it short. Yeah, that that would be nice. <laughs> oh, we can't get past the. We can't just walk around to talk to the kid, really. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's the standard for the sun. It, you got the daily. <laughs> oh my god! Not, our ball panther. Not rugby hooligans. <laughs> you stay away from me. I heard you guys are vicious. Um. Oh, what? What? What did we just collect? We've apparently collected just a parcel from the trash. Okay. Um, let's chat to this guy, I guess. You gonna buy something or not? Um, what do you got for sale? You gonna buy something or not? Mm, no, we don't have a hotspot. Talk to these guys. We're again. trying to find our ball. Keep an eye out, will ya? <laughs> We're going to wait for you to throw it away and then steal it. Exactly. I am intrigued to know what's in our parcel. Can we get a taxi? Oh, they're usually good. They've they, they got a spacious thing in the back. Um, oh, why? Hang on. Why are we... We've gone from London to where? Sorry? Um, okay. Just going to a pub. 
We're in an old, 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 old English pub now. Um, okay. So what I I have no. Let's. I I think you can get a hint. Um, I did see something about hints in here. Hint. Hints for Pink Panther. Pink Panther's passport to peril. Um. Top secret confidential rhyming hints should only be used in case of extreme emergency. They will help you, those in need of a little assistance. Um, okay. Yep. Camp Chili Wawa Day 1. Um, yeah, okay. Ready for a trip to England but can't go off the ground? Ask yourself a simple few. The answer will be found. Did you stop to see a friend whose hair is white as snow? Von Schmarty asks you to see him first, you know. Are you boarding on the correct jet whose course is set for Britain? Yes, follow these here printed tips we've taken time and written. So it's given you a whole walkthrough, but it's just like rhyming stuff. Okay. Um, hang on, back to... Um, try calling up your friend who's smart on your PDA. Can't track down the little boy who's all the way from China. Here's a few helpful hints that just might help remind you. You'll find the boy whose name is Young tucked up in a cabin. He's hiding under a springy place. So poke him. Or, so poke around, then grab him. What? I, I, okay, this is this is not helpful for the current situation. Afternoon, love. Find your best. Nah, I'm a cartoon character. I don't drink. Oh, that's that seems boring. Just kidnapping. Yeah. Pick up. Oh, um, why have we got a thing of booze? Um. Okay, have a I look like a Bobby, you booby. Oh, Bobby. We wanna we wanna We're giving booze to an on, on duty police I officer. Drink. Brilliant. I'm off duty, you know. Oh, that's good. I... Pint in a plowman's for the postman, pick up. Oh, and it all starts with P. Okay. Well plowman's are, I do oh, like plowman's life. Every blooming day, but you think they'd call it the postman's lunch? No. Hmm. Steak and a kidney pie and a pink gin for our barrister friend. Pick it up. Oh, barrister? Who, who is a bloody barrister, though? Oh, probably this. No, I can't select this guy. Barrister. Um. Is this is a barrister? Oh, okay. So who, oh, you just, you're well, it was going off the wig. Working on a case. How's it coming? If I were working on and does case, seem... I'm not saying I am, yeah. I certainly wouldn't be at liberty to discuss how near victory I am or am not. Hmm. Okay. Um, is that... Did someone want some tea? What is going Tea-cups on? Teacups in a pub, no less? Where do they think we are? England? <laughs> okay. What on earth do you want, geezer? Uh, game of darts? Without play with strangers, my mate and me. I'm no stranger. No stranger than you are. Oh, we caught a bloody comedian <laughs> on What? That tall pink comedian with a tail. Look here. You don't know my name, and I don't know your name. You don't know his name, and he don't know yours. However, he knows my name, and I bloody well know his. And that, my friend, makes you the stranger. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, that seemed needlessly complicated. What if do you want, geezer? Oh, uh, we're gonna go through that darts? whole We're conversation. No oh, spirit. thank fuck, we can skip the space bar. Good, 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 good. What you got there? Bangers and mash. Bangers and mash? It's what we call sausage and mashed potatoes. Oh, I see. Where's more bangers and mash, missy? Yeah. I ordered mine before that little perisher did his. Say, would you mind terribly if I uh, borrowed one of those bangers there? What's in it for me? That's my boy. Um, do you like a parcel? You're rubbish somewhere else. Oh, it's just rubbish. Okay. Don't you have any football over here? Of course we do. Excuse me? That's not football. It's a ball game played with your foots. Football. That game is not called football. Right then, what is it? Soccer, soccer. <laughs> Did oh, she just brother. punch him in the face? What? What just happened there? 
Oh, okay. Bangers I'm, and mash? Bangers and mash? You just said uh, that. I don't know why you're looking at me. I'm just a, a plain old uh, British. What uh, is British going on? Uh, sitting in a British pub in Britain. Uh, that's me. Right. Uh, right, mate. My geezer and me hang out down the boozer, man. I mean, mate. I mean, mate, oh, man. Oh, okay. So these guys. Are... Yeah, all right. So they're the bad guy ones, I guess. Um, this is so weird. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So we're going to get something for the kid to get a banger, I suppose. Um, we chat with these guys again. Now that we've gotten them food. Um, yeah, sure. Yep. Kind of want to pipe myself, actually. No? Okay. Let's talk to the old She's ducks. never looked better since she left him. <laughs> He's never I, looked worse. No, I, I've He's been drunk while playing these eyes. games before, it's and they, they're to still hard to follow along it's with. It's not polite to gossip, either. <laughs> We're not gossiping. They're, they're, they're definitely funnier when you're drunk. I'll, I'll give them that. Yeah, and if you haven't got any current events, you better scram. What? Listening in, are you? It's not polite to eavesdrop. It's not polite to gossip either. We're not gossiping. We're updating each other on current events. Yeah, and if you haven't got any current events, you better scram. And Paul, can we look that up? British. Is this current events? Let's just. What? Introduction to England. Okay. Yep. Forest. Why would kids like actually be bothered like reading through any of this? <laughs> I do like this. So, all right. No, there's a reason to read it. The largest undomesticated mammals on the island are deer and football hooligans. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. There's at least something funny in there though. So they're trying to be funny and educational at the same time because they're talking about Saxons, the River Thames. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think we're going to get much else out of this, though. That, was it? Okay, arts and entertainment, food. Maybe we have to actually learn about food? Um, from this aardvark-looking motherfucker? Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, that's you're telling us about one thing of food, though. More people will be eating meatless dishes, not roast beef, if mad cow disease isn't cured. Yeah, they, they worked it out. They just, you know, killed and burnt all the mad cows. They got rid of it eventually. Um, what the f And we don't even get, like, any um, voices or anything for these guys, do we? British Customs. Yeah, okay. This is this is just telling me nothing about the game itself, though. All right, let's, let's see if we can go somewhere else from the pub. Yeah, no, we're just going walking back to London. Okay, this is a little weird. So we, I don't know, really don't know what we're meant to be doing. I've been accused of standing on a soapbox, but really. Oh, we have to give this I've guy. I've been accused of standing on a soapbox, but really. Okay, okay, no idea. Let's go. Yeah, no, that's back to the PDA. Let's go here. So these guys are after a ball. Um. Oh, okay, okay. There's actual, there's separate hints for here. All right. Um, so Parliament Square. In England, there's much work to do, like empty rubbish, find a clue. Then trade your prize for printed lies and deposit them to golden eyes. Uh, so bald... Lee won't move out of the way until he's read what gossips say. That's when you can walk right through to find a boy who'll talk to you. Suck with trash. No, we won't tease. Cast your eyes up. Inspect the trees. So we legit just have to give this guy rubbish to get a newspaper? Really? You gonna buy something or not? Um. You gonna buy something or not? He said we could just trade something for a paper? This is what we were trying to do. Um, seen our ball, Panther? Oh, we have not seen your ball. Um, that's just going back to the pub. Maybe no, there wasn't anything else in the trash. 
You gonna buy something oh, or Oh, the not? ball's up in the tree, though. Can I get to the ball? I guess I can't get to the ball. Okay. Um, why are we buying a newspaper, though? This, this just seems a little, um, convoluted. And there's no and other hotspots besides the, um, the newspaper Unless guy. you've got a way to divert him, you'd better just wait. Okay. You're gonna buy and something gonna or not? That. Um, can I give anyone else this package, though? No, like, these guys aren't even being... Most of them aren't even I've being piloted. I've been accused of standing on a soapbox, but really... I've been accused of standing yeah, okay. on a soapbox, okay. but... Why... Yeah, this is... He's still literally the only hotspot we can click on here. You gonna buy something or not? Yeah, all right, all right. I'll go and find the walkthrough that's not, like, um, not rhyming. Um, just to see how much further we can get through this game, because this, this is so weird. This is annoying. Um, passport to Peril walkthrough. Let's have a look. Oh, someone's already done it on, um, oh, okay. Yeah, a couple of people work on it in, uh, it takes four and a half hours to finish this game. Like, someone's actually done proper long plays. Wow, that's terrible. That's that's horrible. Okay. A PC gaming wiki if you want to get running. No, it's gonna include walkthrough, I'm afraid to say. We're not gonna sit here and watch a walkthrough. Um Yeah, here we go. PC Games Compendium. Right. Um No, that's just an error. I've oh dear. It's just linked to uh, for, okay, that's lazy. It's just linked to the YouTube video for it. Um, no, that's not it either. There really isn't any other walkthroughs? Yeah, that seems slack. Okay. Um, still... No, no it's a, there's like those clickbaity ones that make you just click on garbage. Or it's an article or something. No, I hate when they do that. <clears throat> um, little known adventure games. All right, well, let's see if we can figure it out from the, the hint. Maybe there was more to the hint. Um, Chili Wawa. Parliament Square. Empty rubbish. Find a clue. Trade your prize for printed lies. And deposit them to golden eyes. Okay. Yeah, I got... Maybe there was something else we could do at the, um... The pub? Hang on. Um... Mucky Duck Pub. Yeah, there's other locations and stuff. Okay. A busy pub with jobs for you, like serving drinks and British food. Then you can chat with a comic-loving brat who eats and eats but won't get fat. The golden girls are older than most and raise their teacups up to toast. The latest news is what they crave. Deliver it and watch them rave. Want to play a game of darts? Lose the guy who's low on smarts. Offer him the food he'll wish and watch him become a doggy's dish. Can't chat with a man of dartboard fame? Try calling him by proper name. Learn from a cranky, uniformed lad about the man who help you find Nigel's pet. Oh, oh, this is... Okay, this is really complicated to... Just to get to Nigel's house. But it, a lot of it just makes no sense, does it? Um... So we're going to find a paper for the old ducks. Maybe we can go rub the, the parcel on the other people at the, um, at the pub itself. Because no one mentioned they were looking for a uh, package or anything either, did they? How are we doing on time? Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to get us probably another 10 minutes. And, um, we'll finish up. Okay. Take your rubbish somewhere else. They, everyone's calling it rubbish, Take your though. Rubbish somewhere else. What is... This is weird. Bog off! Bog off. Um, for the bobby. No thanks, Panther. Um, old ducks. No, old ducks don't want any of this. Are we meant to... Um, 
It's like this is the maybe there's something for um of you inventory items. Yep. If you click on an item, Panther puts it in the pocket, ends up in his inventory. You can select Okay, click on the th Yeah, okay. So we can't even look at the item, we just have to rub it against the correct thing. Um, and it won't highlight if there's no things in the inventory. Okay. Yeah, if we put it on ourselves, it just goes back. Um, what about the dogs over here? No, the dogs didn't want it. Um, they didn't want it. So who else is getting this bloody parcel then? And... Can't even do anything with it. The TV's a hotspot, but, um... Can we just throw the parcel at the TV? No. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Alright. All right. No, that was funny. <laughs> Finger in his butt crack. Uh, game of darts? No, we did all this. Blah, 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 blah. You know, finger your butt crack again. For the sake of comedy. Um... So who else gets this bloody parcel, though? This is... Uh, can't just put it back in the trash. You gonna buy something or not? He just wants... Yeah. You know. We're trying to find our ball. Yeah, I Keep can... an eye out, will ya? Yeah, right, eh? Okay, so the old ducks gave us the hint that they want the latest news. So that's... Uh, they want the newspaper. But they also, um... This clearly... What do we actually need to buy the paper, though? Um, okay. Yeah, can't get past them. We use the box to pick up the ball for the guys. Okay. Oh god, that, that took a little too long. Well, here's your ball. Is this the ball you're looking for? That's all we had to do. Where was the yeah, hint for that? Yeah, I need me lucky ball. I'm the team hooker. The beg pardon? <laughs> team what's say? He's the team hooker. I'm the captain. Yeah. We're training no, for the hooker's a up. position I in rugby. See. It's just you said. Then I thought to forget it. Bet you anything we'd have lost if I didn't get me lucky ball back. Let me do something. We're going to blow your mind you. when we tell you about fannies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just get wow. the jersey, and uh, okay. Right, so well, no, I'm no, a bit no, hang on, we'll come back to you. I wanna, I wanna see what the hint was trying to tell us. Much work to do. Like empty rubbish, you'll find a clue. Trade your pro. Yeah. Find a clue. Uh, yeah, that that's. Bucky, let's go. In no way said use box on football. No, that was that was pretty stupid. And I guess we give him... Yeah, so we can now give him the dirty jersey to um, get a paper. But so there's How no logic the to this game is at all, is there? Is that Ryan Boar's jersey? I guess it is. I don't bloody believe it. Ryan Boar, me lad idolizes a bloke. Uh, can I trade you for a copy of The Sun? It, right, you can, it's worth mate. more than a paper, Panther. Okay. Yeah, righto. Here, take a little something extra too. Oh. Dirty magazine? Ooh, that Ryan kind of looked like 2008. Fancy that. Read some Dr Judge Dredd, maybe. Right, so we can give the old ducks the paper, I suppose. Yeah, this is this was just a little too convoluted. For um terrible logic on the puzzles. Anyway. Have a have a paper grannies. Rumor has it that the Queen was seen out celebrating her birthday in a disco, wearing a rhinestone bustier and doing the electric slide. Pull up a chair, Panther. Things are just getting good. What is a it's obviously, uh, Yeah, he's you know obviously picked up a copy well. of The Sun at all the Daily Mail. The member of they, l they love ri ribbon the bloody royals, that's for sure. I don't believe it. Love at your age. Who is the lucky MP? Sir oh, Bobby. so 
Okay, so this chick's hooked up with the, the other guy gas bagging. And I okay. want you all to hear it. <clears throat> My dearest Fordley, I love you as I have loved no other hairless man in my life. Okay, um... Oh, you again. If you haven't got any current events, you'd better scram. Yeah... Uh, okay, no idea what we just picked up. Oh, is this the love letter? Okay, maybe we have to go and give this to the MP. Um, worth a try, I suppose. And that will hopefully make him... That's a, like, yeah, in, in terms of adventure game logic, that is just stupid. Like, we should be able to walk directly around this guy. There is nothing in the way blocking us, but... No, gotta, gotta do the puzzles. What's this? An urgent note for Sir Boldly? Give it here, lad. Loves me? She, she loves me? I'm enclosing a see you later alligator and such and so forth, blah, blah, blah. She loves me? She loves okay. me? Okay, so we finally got rid of them. Great. Now we can talk to small child. Having a bad day? My best friend Nigel's away this summer. I haven't got a thing to do. I'm frighteningly bored. So where is this, Nigel? Some special Kemp chili something or other. Who chili cares? Something. It's a silly place anyways. Well, I'm sure it's not so bad. It's a rotten dump, trust me. Me and Nigel hate it. And we hate school, too. Nigel does yeah, not hate kids, school. Though. I know that for a... Trust me, we hate everything. Okay, so your buddy Nigel is stuck in a rotten dump. What do you think we could do to cheer him up? Hmm, let's see. Sorry I'm late. Had a little matter to tend to in the loo. Bubble and squeak gets you every time. Come on then, no, Rupert. No, it doesn't. It's just meat, veg, and spices. There's nothing... Oh, God. Okay. Wait, <laughs> what about Nigel? See his butler. His name's Jackson. At the mucky duck. Oh, okay, so the guy playing darts is the... Nigel's so butler? Jackson is his name. Guess I better go visit the mucky duck again. Okay, so now we can talk to the butler? No idea. Anyway. The back to the pub. And I'm presuming this is Nigel. Do you want, geezer? Uh, game of darts? Without play with strangers, my buddy. Oh, uh, okay, so we're gonna get rid of this guy. I have a feeling we have to use our... I think we've got it. Oh, uh, it's... <laughs> I joked that it was 2000 AD, but it's 1999 and 9th AD. All right, no, that's clever. And also, yeah, Judge Conan. I think I can't remember if they did Conan comics in um, 2000 AD, but anyway... Here, young man. Now give me your banger. How about trading one of your sausages for a I'm comic going to book? Put okay. Your banger in my pants. <laughs> wow. I, 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 I was not expecting a 2000 AD joke, but here we are. All right. So now we give this guy a banger, maybe. Ah, and the dog goes off to the banger. Ah. Huh. <laughs> Okay, and now we can talk to Nigel, presumably. Aren't you Jackson? Indeed uh, I am. Sir. Sorry, Nigel's Michael butler Jackson. Day is Michael Cuthbert Jackson. But please, don't ask me to do Billy Jean. I wouldn't. I am partial and his name's to Michael Jackson. beat it okay. myself. Who's next? I am. You play darts. You watch and see if I don't. Okay. Not bad, old boy. However, if you just... Thanks, Jackson. Does Nigel like darts too? Nigel? How do you know Nigel? I'm a friend of his from Camp Chilliwawa. Is something wrong with Master Nigel? He hasn't been hurt, has he? No, nothing like that. I just thought I'd bring him a little something from England. He's a bit homesick. Homesick? Can you think of anything he might want? Well, he's... Guy, I suppose. His 
guy? Is Guy Fawkes toy? Oh. <laughs> uh, what? It was the 5th of November, 1605. Oh, and this is how we learned about King James was mighty yeah, lucky Guy Fawkes to Day. be alive. The you just read V for Vendetta. It's with his dealings. I guess you wherever you got that 2000 AD comic, you probably get some vertigo and stuff. Gunpowder was planted in Parliament cellar. Thirty barrels were enough to really damage a fella. They planned to blow up James and Parliament too. <laughs> I guess they couldn't think of nothing better to do. Oh, mammy! Guy Fawkes was in charge of the explosion. Before the big yeah, I'm pretty sure like everyone else involved in the plot just sold him out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time for some fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. And your point is Remember, remember the fifth of November. On that day, it's yeah, a likeness I, I, of Guy Fawkes. Yeah, I can't and see you're what Guy telling Fawkes me this looks like. Because Nigel's Guy Fawkes. Actually, no, V for Vendetta would have been out by this burn. stage, so maybe it is like around the edges, you know, maybe, the old but anonymous it. mask. Actually, but... he's rather fond of it. I think hmm. he keeps it hidden because he's embarrassed. That's the sweetest thing <laughs> I've ever heard. I'll he probably deliver is his guide to him safely. Where does he Whatever keep Proto it? Four Chan was before um I think he keeps 2000. It hidden because of this embarrassment thingy. Hidden? Hidden! You must have some idea of where I could look. His family's country seat, I suppose. You could search there. Will you take me? For Master Nigel, I do anything. Okay, you're getting taken by a butler, I suppose. <laughs> oh, this game though. Yeah, no, there's just, we, we had some weird logic jumps there on those puzzles. Oh, um, better cover that up for YouTube. I'm on duty now, Pink. There's Ed Butler. We, we, ca see we don't have to cover up the front. What do you What is that? Oh, I just noticed. I just noticed all this. Um, not sure what the parents are into. Okay. Um, <laughs> just ran her kid. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully I can save this. Um, we'll come back to it because I, yeah, I, we were stuck on the puzzle, but no, I'm intrigued. We we might have to come back to this at some stage, just not now. I've got, um, yeah, I want to go do some editing and shit. But that was, that was different. That was certainly different. <laughs> I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Death Sandals.